welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here I'm Rhonda and on this here channel we discover fragrances so if you're interested in the spray you have definitely landed on the right channel as promised I am going to spill the tea on this Narciso Rouge and you guys this is the box very very sleek design in the shape of a rectangle cube so let's get on right on into what's inside you have this gorgeous a gorgeous bottle and of course this is a glass bottle you know Narciso is known for having glass bottles and exquisite packaging so you do get this red cube with a plastic top you guys I don't care about the top being plastic because I can only imagine if this was glass honey this will be so heavy because just this bottle alone is very heavy so you do get this plastic top and on the top it does say Narciso Rodriguez as all of their other standard bottles it's like very very unique and nice and it says all the information on the bottom very very exquisite packaging absolutely love this packaging from Narciso Rodriguez I did pick this up in the 1.6 ounce this is a 50 ml bottle and this is the fifth fragrance from the Narciso line now this is not to be confused with the Narciso for her line those are the taller more rectangular bottles this is just from the Narciso line so this is Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Rouge this is an eau de parfum and Narciso Rouge was just recently released here in 2018 as for the for her line there are 18 fragrances in that line and I am as of yet to get my hands on some of those fragrances now I do have a tester of the Narciso for her the eau de toilette and I would definitely be letting you guys know about that one this Narciso Rouge is described as a floral woody musk with main accords of woody powdery musky aromatic and rosy now what's inside the bottle is iris rose musk orange blossom tuberose vetiver white cedar cedar tonka bean vanilla and sandalwood now let's get right into the spray Two sprays of this will literally fill an entire room. And at first sniff, you get this blast of iris. It's very sharp, it's deep, and it's kind of off-putting. And the iris is very prominent when you first spray this. Now, as far as iris, iris lets off a powdery scent and sometimes earthy. And you guys, this is very, very powdery and earthy. It's not sweet at all. And I'm also getting that very mature vibe, as in Aqua Divina by Bulgari. This also almost has like a peppery vibe where it's really a little smoky and as this starts to dry down the tuberose really starts to come out it's not a sweet tuberose but more of like a waxy bitter tuberose and also to mention this is a very musky fragrance so you're definitely going to get that musk as Narciso is known for musky fragrances but the musk did not save this fragrance for me the musk vanilla and tuberose all mixed together makes this smell really waxy and synthetic and on the dry down Narciso Rouge softens a bit and almost kind Kind of goes to a scent of the Poudre. So this is very similar to Poudre. Minus the creaminess and the sweetness. I definitely see why this bottle is red. Because it lets off like a fiery, smoky perfume that has depth to it. But still similar to the other Narciso fragrances. But this takes on a little bit more of a deepness. And the iris in this is very, very standout-ish. So if you are a lover of iris, you will probably really, really like this. But if you don't like those really deep smelling powder fragrance that's not sweet stay away from this this will probably give you a headache so the dry down of this Narcissa Rouge did kind of help this fragrance to me but overall this is my least favorite of the Narciso line I do have Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Eau de Parfum and I also have the Narciso Poudre guys out of those three this is my least favorite this has more depth it's more edgy and it's also more synthetic smelling so if you can't get past the original and the Poudre with the synthetic smell you probably will not like this but overall, I don't think it's a bad scent. It's just not my cup of tea. And most likely, I will not be keeping this in my collection. But I definitely wanted to try it because I am very intrigued on Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. Now, as far as the price, this bottle was very expensive. And do I feel it's worth the price tag? I would have to say no, only if you have the other fragrances. If you already have Poudre, it's not worth spending the heavy price tag on this Narciso Rouge because they are very similar minus the sweet sweetness in Poudre. Poudre is a little bit more creamier, a little bit more sweet, but if you feel that Poudre is a little bit too sweet and creamy for you, then you may like this, but I will warn you, the iris in this is very sharp and it stands out. The iris is what gives this perfume its depth. And as far as longevity, I give this a good six to eight hours just with two sprays. So this is definitely considered beast mode, but it's only beast mode in the first hour. Then it does calm down and that's when you really pick up that Poudre feeling 
feeling in this perfume. It's a little bit stronger to say it just becomes a skin scent because you are still able to smell this. If you get close to a person, you would definitely be able to smell this Narciso Rouge. So that is my take on this Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Rouge Eau de Parfum. I really appreciate you tuning in to day one of my perfume reviews. I have four more to go, so definitely stay tuned because every day we're going to have a video of a perfume review. And if you enjoy my reviews, I kindly appreciate you giving these videos a thumbs up and also be sure to share my videos on other platforms. I would really, really appreciate that. So I can't wait to see you in the next perfume review. Thanks for tuning into this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out my latest videos. I post new videos weekly and I would love to have you follow along. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.